Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will look at maximum score from removing substrings problem which is from lead code number 1717. Let's now read the problem statement. In this problem you are given a string s and two integers x and y. You can perform two types of operations any number of times. Remove substring ab and gain x points. For example, when you remove ab from this given string, uh, then the string will change to cxbae. Okay, and you will make x points as profit. Similarly, you can repeat it for ba and make y amount of profit. We need to return the maximum points you can gain after applying the above operations on s. So, if you look at the examples given, then in the first example, the x profit is 4 and the y profit is 5, which means that x is corresponding to ab and y corresponds to ba. So, if you take this given string, c d b c double b triple a and b a b then here if you remove this b a and this b a if you if you remove the second b a then this b and a will connect together and so you can remove these two b a's as well right so two b a's here and and this is a third b a so total b a's removed are three and if you remove b a then the profit made was five so the total points that you could collect is 15 due to removal of ba and the resultant string that you get after removing will be cd bc and then you have ab in this string if you start removing ab then you will get a total of just one ab which will contribute to four profit and so the total points will be 15 plus 4 which is 19 and that is the maximum that you can have now similarly if you repeat it for example number two then you will get 20 as the maximum profit now if you look at the constraints here the s dot length is 10 to the power of 5 so that means i cannot write an n square algorithm the n square algorithm will get 10 to the power 10 operations which is not allowed so i can go for n log n in the worst case which will be less than 10 to the power 8 computations your standard for one second right the x and y values are not exceeding 10 to the power 4 the meaning of this is if s dot length is let's say 10 to the power of 5 then the pattern length is only either a b or b it is just length 2 so all of them can be actually matching so the total number of patterns can be 5 times of 10 to the power of 4 and if you add 10 to the power 4 5 times of 10 to the power 4 times then this will become 5 times of 10 to the power 8 isn't it so this number is still less than your integer maximum integer maximum and that is why this can be accommodated in an integer 32 bit integer right but if this number was something else let's say if this number was not 4 but it was 6 10 to the power of 6 then this will become 10 to the power of 10 then you might have to take a long long integer which is a 64 bit integer right so that is why this constraint is important here and uh, s consists of all the lowercase english letters so it's not like you will just get a b or uh, you can have any of the characters from a to z so i hope everything is clear let's now look at some observations in this problem if x is greater than y then we will try to remove a b first from the new string whatever we get after removing a b we will be trying to remove b a let's first follow this and then we will see why this works so in this case if you consider x value to be 5 and y value to be 2 for x you know the pattern is a b that you need to remove so from here if you remove a b first then what happens if you remove a b then the resulting string will just be b a and simply you can remove b a so the total profit will be one time you removed a b one time you removed b a so it will be 7 5 plus 2 but what if you had first removed ba and then ab what would happen if you first remove ba then the two bas will get removed and the string will become an empty string and since two bas were removed the total profit will come out to be only four the total points will be four so this should not be followed wherever you are getting maximum profit that has to be taken first okay in this case we saw it even in the second example if the maximum profit you get is uh, by removing ba which is which is 4 because they both are of the same length then i will try to remove the 4 profit first let's try to remove the ab first okay if you remove ab first then both the ab's will get removed and the string will become empty and the total profit will be 2 times 2 which is 4 
but if you remove ba first then you remove this ba and then the resultant string will be ab and you remove ab and the resultant string will be empty and so the total profit will be 4 plus 2 which is 6 so 6 is larger than 4 right so that is why we will try to go with the one which is having a larger value so we should note that removing a substring only affects the adjacent characters this maximizes the removal of the optimal substring like when you remove any kind of substring whatever is a substring if you remove it if you remove it entirely then only the adjacent characters are affected and they get joined together isn't it that is the effect and due to this property uh, our greedy actually works in this case okay so if you take this example here and uh, if you take x equals to 2 y equals to 3 that means ba making more profit you try to remove the ba if you go from left to right then you can remove the first ba here the second ba then you have a third ba so you have three ba's right and once you remove three ba's your uh, string will change to a a double b okay and now how many ab's can you remove you can remove two ab's so simply you can say that three ba's were removed and two ab's were removed so total the profit will be 9 plus 4 which is going to be 13 right so this should be the uh, method that we will be following that means greedily remove the best option so i hope this is clear now in order to track the removal we will be using stack because we have to remember what is to the left of the given position isn't it let's consider the example given here it is from lead code first example itself and we have taken x equals to 4 y equals to 5 so we are getting more profit in removing ba so we will try to do that and uh, we will be using a position pointer let's say i pointer and try to move from left to right we will be taking a new string what pattern we want to remove we want to remove the pattern ba so let's consider this the ith uh, character will always be checked ith character will always be checked with the second character in the pattern if it matches with the second character of the pattern the first one will always be checked with the top of the stack okay let me show you the dry run it will be clear so in this case the entire string is empty i will be just pushing it and move forward for d i will check if d is matching this pattern a no then i will just push it and move forward b is this b matching this a no so insert b and move forward is this c matching a no so insert c and move forward is this b matching a no so insert b move forward for the same reason insert b again and move forward is this a matching this a yes so this can be the next character of this given b so check the top of the stack or you can say the end of the string and the end of the string is matching to the first character here b so they both are matching b right so what we will do is to the points we will be adding this five value so this became five and i will just be removing the top of the stack or you can say the end of the string okay and then we will be skipping this a and move forward now again if i check again if i check this a is matching with this a the top of the stack is matching with this b so i will make five profit again so the profit will become 10 you can say points becoming 10 you remove this b and you ignore this a and move forward okay now this a is matching with this a but the top of the stack or the end of the string is not matching with b so you will be pushing this a and move forward right when you reach to this b b do not match a so just append b move forward a matches with a this b matches with the first character which is b so remove this b add the profit 5 this becomes 15 and move forward now b not matching with a so just append b okay so why we need stack actually you you don't need a stack but the behavior of stack is required this new s is actually a new string now what we will do is we have removed all the BAs which was the greedily best option for us initially and I will assign S to this new S. So my new string is going to be C D B C A B. Okay once this assignment is done then in the next time I will be removing the second best option or you can say the second option right. If there is any A B then remove it. So is there any AB? I will be following the same process. I will be taking a new S and then I will be iterating from left to right. So check with the 
first character here c so is this c matching with b no so simply append c is this d matching with b no so simply append d b matching with b yes it is matching so what is the top top is actually d which is not a so just append b and move forward similarly c not matching with b so append c and move forward a not matching with b so append a and move forward b matching with b top of the uh, string or the top of the stack the back of the string is actually matching with a so remove this add the profit 4 and this points becomes 9 and move forward ignore this p now you have reached to the end of string so whatever is left again it will get assigned to s and uh, since you don't want to do any more operations because there were only two substring the points that you get is the maximum points okay so i hope this entire approach is clear in this case we have iterated over the string two times in the worst case you can say and uh, so the time complexity is going to be order of n and the space complexity will also be order of n because we had taken new string okay which is the same as stack so i hope it is clear let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we are given the string x and y value so i will be creating a copy string uh, which will be assigned to simply the string because i don't want to modify the string if you want to modify then you can skip this line the points uh, will be assigned to zero and if x is a better option than y then i will first try to remove a b otherwise i will first try to remove b a so i will be ca calling the utility function called modify so in modify i will be passing which pattern to be removed from which string i need the removal to happen and then uh, what are the exact points that i get after each removal of the substring now i will be finding the size and if size is less than two then i cannot remove a two size substring from a string of less than two size right now if everything is fine then i will be assigning a new string get the total points and iterate over each of the position one by one and i will check that the stack is not empty that means the new string is not empty and the new string back is equals to pattern at zero and the string position pointer is pointing to pattern at one as i had shown you in the dry run if this happens then ignore uh, the asset i character and uh, pop back the last uh, character from the new string and add the points that you collect otherwise if this do not happen then just push the asset i -th character and move forward so at the end the new string whatever you get the modified string will be assigned to the string s and your total points collected will be returned so that will be added to the points and when you do these two operations then finally you can return the maximum points that you can collect so i hope this is approach is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible see you guys in the next video thank you